Hello and welcome to WhatMap for City Skylines, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. There are thousands of items on the workshop now, so finding the right one for your next city build is a huge task. So each day, Monday to Saturday, we'll review some using our 5-star rating and the coveted seal of approval. So join me, fellow Skylines Explorers, as we venture out to today's new land. Who am I? I'm Bon Bon B, and you are very, very welcome. Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to WhatMap, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. Bon Bon here, how are you doing? Right, it's Thursday, which usually means one thing and one thing only, that we're going to take a trip back in time, but no more. I am actually retiring uh, this particular segment of the show, so uh, last time you'll see this is today, and it's not actually going to be a throwback map today. We're going to do a current one, one that's actually in the top 20, and I figure it needs to be done, so uh, we'll do that now. So yes, uh, throwback Thursday. I reserve the right to bring throwback Thursday back. I mean, you never know, sometimes it might be relevant, might be appropriate. But uh, anyway, you know what is appropriate? Appropriate is me giving you this little daily post. Yes, if you can click that like button now, that would really help me along. I want to get to 20,000 subscribers ASAP. And the only way I can do that is with you showing your support by clicking the like button. And if you're new to the show, yeah, sure, click the like button later on or once you've seen the show and you know that you like it. Right, on with today's show. And it is Berlin True 1 to 1 by Amy Polizzi Funk or Amy Polizzi Funk. Now, it's a one-to-one -one scale map, fraught with issues, there's your start square, fraught with issues, one-to-one -one scale maps, and we'll talk about that in a moment, of course, as we have a look at the resources. I love the resources. I freaking love those. Great work. I know it's being used for painting, but it looks really good. And then, as we go off to the workshop, what do we need? Technically speaking, nothing but mass transit is recommended because there are some roads that are mass transit roads. So yes, one-to-one -one scale maps. We did one from Ami Polizzi Funk a couple of weeks ago or so. Stockholm East. And honestly, Stockholm East was a train wreck of a map. It wasn't particularly good. I tried to be positive. I always try to be positive. Today's map is much better. Uh, now, Jinky Jankies. I'm not going to mention these, also glitching between the roads there, yeah. I'm not going to mention these repeatedly. Um, you'll see me slow down and stop and, and show them, but I'm not going to talk about them because there are quite a few of them, okay? But, but, ah, hang on, before we talk about that. Here is your Start Square intersection. And I know a lot of you are going to be going, no! I, I know, I, I fully understand why, okay? This will need upgrading urgently. I'm sure this has been put in because it's an exact representation of what actually happened in Berlin and what, how they actually have it in Berlin. I don't know, I've never been and I haven't checked a map, but I'm sure that must be the case. I highly recommend when you start building your map that one of the first things you do is uh, steal the square, steal a tile, not a square, steal a tile over that way and upgrade that one because it's gonna need doing urgently. Now let's talk about the Shinky Jankies, of course. Uh, we head down towards the Start Square, and the Start Square here, right, see these roads? Look where they're pointing. Right the way up that avenue between the trees. Uh, now, I don't know Berlin at all, but um, I'm reckoning that can't be coincidence. That has to be the main road up and through the center of, of Berlin, I guess. Right, okay, so now the roads. The roads don't feel like high standard, do they? Be honest. They don't feel like high standard. Um, nice little bridge over the rail here. Let's have a look. Shall we go left or will we go right? We'll go right and have a look. Uh, that nice and low and tidy. Pretty nice indeed. Um, and then this little bit here, I reckon there's a big building that goes in there and that the road had to be built around the building because we are based on a one-to-one -one scale map. It's not going to make 100% of sense all the way. Also, the roads sort of look a bit wibbly, especially the one on the right. That looks fairly straight. And the one here looks a little bit wibbly. Not jinky-janky, just not straight. Anyway, no, sorry, I'm, I'm digressing. So yes, now, the roads are, like, don't feel the highest standards, but at the same time, at the very same time, I'm getting a feel for Berlin. I'm getting a feel, well, not Berlin, but of a city. 
This is kind of a ring road. It's not a ring road that actually goes all the way around the city, although you will notice on the right hand side you'll see the fog most of the way around, and we are skirting around the centre of the map. This, I think, is this map's strongest feature, this particular road. Although I would want to see it completed as a ring road, so the traffic would go all the way around the map. But it's pretty nice indeed as it stands at the moment. Uh, of course, the highway split with the rail going through the middle of this. We'll look at the rail in a minute, by the way, guys. I love the rail on this map. I love the rail. Also, really like this intersection. This is possibly the second sexiest intersection although i i like i don't mind it's, cl it's a close run thing for me that one to be in the sexiest intersection on this map um tunnels actually i don't mind this one they'll ramp down it seems to level out at the bottom and then over this side um yep yeah, nice and level as it gets to the bottom it looks realistic but we will be seeing some tunnels a little bit later on that are virtually identical that don't quite level out at the bottom and just look like they're dropping into the ether the ether the underworld the ether good grief where did that come from um nice little road over rail bridge there a little bit jinky in it but like i say we're not we're not looking at those today roads aren't always perfect especially in cities where they are built around complex networks and there you go that seems to drop into the uh into the underworld a little bit more that one and then over this side and probably the same i can't remember with this one uh the one on this side's all right the one on the other side is a little bit a uh, little bit steep again it's a close run thing now this for me this is the sexiest intersection because i love the terrain work here way that the roads are first of all it's 72 work roads wide the lanes wide there and over 72 lanes as well okay it's not 72 it's what, 10 but it's wide and it's bold and it's strong and i love it and it's really nice work we'll go underneath the rail here coming out ah before we come out on the other side we do have a little street light clipping going on here we've got one there and there's another one right there not the world's biggest sin, but uh, it doesn't affect the game in any way. But uh, we want to be right, don't we? The worst one is over here on this rail line here. Um, there it is, right across the train tracks there. So anyway, minor problems, minor issues. And the map overall, it's not... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. This bridge, I don't understand. Was this a riverbed at one point? I don't know. But certainly uh, this uh, rail crossing is not going to go over anything. <laughs> you wouldn't even get a hedgehog under there. <laughs> or maybe you would. Certainly better the hedgehog. That's why it's probably a hedgehog crossing so they don't get run over on the roads. That's what it is. Ami Polizzi Funk, you're a star. Um, tunnels. Tunnels comes out over here. Sorry, I got distracted again. Oh, I'm so easily distracted. Uh, down here to this intersection, which is slick. There we are. Slick, no worries there. We could head out to the fog if you wanted to and go over that bridge. But we don't want to do that, do we? No. This is the best of the tunnels, by the way. Look at this. Doesn't even hardly drop in at all. Comes out over this side. And that's not too bad. Do you know what? That's not too bad. Points for that one. Little uh, road with side roads there. Okay. And uh, off this way again. We are getting close to completing our loop around the city by road. Uh, here we go, it dead ends here. Now, where would the ring road need to go to to go all the way around? I'm um, having a little look. Uh, no, okay, center of the uh, screen right now, just below the horizon. That's where you need to loop back to. It's most of the way around. And then the road comes to a little dead end there. Well, there we are. Let's have a look at the rail. Now, the rail I like, okay? We're going to do a full loop. You can't do a ring road. You can't do a, sorry, a ring. You can't do a ring road. You can't do a full loop of the map on the roads, but you can with the rail. And that's exactly what we're going to do now. In fact, the rail is that good. Ah, apart from, like, the tunnels. The tunnels need to be smooth. Look at that. The trains aren't going to like that. Sheldon Cooper wouldn't like that. And you don't want Sheldon Cooper on your train show, do you? To stop Sheldon coming on the show, hit the subscribe button now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm desperate for subscri <laughs> subscriptions. I'm desperate. Hit the subscribe button now. We don't want Sheldon Cooper on here. Fun with flags is one thing, but having fun with maps, 
that is my thing. We have got a little bit of blue mantle under there somewhere. Hang on, down we go. There it is. Okay, let's get rid of that subscribe button. Go away! Go away! Go Oh wait, there he's going. <laughs> it's sort of like looking at me ominously going, no, nope, I've not done my thing yet. Uh, the rail, yes, there's a lot of rail lines. It's a busy, busy rail network city. A little bit over there, um, comes together here. It's just like that, we're bare left. We're not going out, we're doing a full loop. We are going to do a full loop of the city if it's the very last thing I do. And it might just be the very last thing I do. <laughs> bearing left again, bearing left again. Um, Russ, so anyway, how is life with you? <laughs> I hope you haven't gone off the rails. Oh, no, no. Stop, Bonbon. Bon. Stop it, Bonbon. Bon. Nobody wants to hear your puns, Bonbon. Bon. <laughs> right, yes. So, <laughs> he's gone. I'm, 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 I've cracked. I've cracked. Somebody call the men with white coats. I need to go. <laughs> okay, rail. We, we are looping round to the, uh, the end. Now, assets today. We have got a nice one. Now, please prepare yourself. I don't want any criticisms. I want lots of nice comments about this asset, okay? Uh, it wasn't by me. It wasn't by me. So, uh, ah, hang on. Are we are we concluding? Do you know what? This is a hell of a long rail network, isn't it? I'm running out of things to talk about. Let me read. Did you see the football scores from the weekend? Uh, it's 5-4-4-5-5. Did you see that? <laughs> Did you see it? It actually happened. Yes, on penalties, but it actually happened. Ah, here we go. We're in the fog. Let's say bye-bye. <laughs> and say hello. <laughs> say hello to the Asset Review. Hello, Asset Assetville. Hello, Hyper-U. Hello, Hero Shidden. This is a hypermarket. A big old shopping mall thing. Not mall. Big old shopping complex. Shopping centre. Shop. It's a big shop. <laughs> I've, I've lost it. Just, how am I going to get to the end of today's show? I've no idea. I'm really struggling now. Yes, it's nice. It's big. It's flat. It's got a flat roof. It'll, it'll leak when it rains. It will leak when it rains. Because they won't invest in new roofing. But, uh, yeah. Hero Shidden. I've never seen your work before, my friend. But I do like it. I do like it. I wonder what more you've got. I should have a look at your workshop page. I highly recommend that you, the viewer, also do that as well. Check out Hero Shiddens. This is Hyper U by Hero Shidden, and that is today's rather glorious asset of the day. Oh, yeah. As we head off to Themington Island for Tropical Volcano Theme by He 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 Man, which is quite relevant because I'm giggling away today. Look at that sunset. It's like the sky's on fire. Uh, with the European LUT, the, volca the volcano. The volcano. The vanilla. The vanilla. European lut. Oh, I, I, I need to quit. Right, a couple of factoids. For the release in Germany, most of the Nazi scenes in The Sound of Music were cut. And uh, Ernestine Russell made the wise decision to use her middle name, Jane, when she entered show business. Yeah, um, Jane Russell, I don't think she would have been quite such a big star had she been Ernestine. <laughs> I've never even heard that name before. Time for one more. Mussolini. Remember him, the Italian guy? Was once involved with a film featuring 19 paper mache elephants. Oh, crikey. What is the world coming to? Right, shipping routes. We've got this one that comes down this route here. And, um, yep, yeah, lagged a little bit there. Sorry about that. It's a bit odd. Occasionally I'm lagging. We've got one um, implausible one that comes down this little channel here. Goes underneath uh, that bridge there. And obviously there's no chance at all of a big ship making it down this route. I would get rid of that one. Realistic or no, I would lose it. Okay. Uh, water flow. We have good water flow actually. Um, there's a little bit of uh, little bit of a twist at the end. Uh, which is a little bit... Uh, I say confusing. It doesn't affect things at all. I think it takes away from the realism slightly if you are really after realism. But then, having said that, it might be as it is. I don't know. I don't know. I've done no research. I'm just looking at a map. <laughs> uh, water flow, water flow, water flow goes all the way off to the edge of the map there. But if we come back and have a look at this little channel here, 
this is water flow in as well so that's the one outlet there and then you've got water coming in this way looping around and looping back that way uh, which I find odd but it's fine it's fine overall I really like the map it's very flat lots of buildable areas lots of workable rivers as well although to be honest with you um it does feel the river banks are probably the most vanilla thing in the map even though the trees are 100 percent vanilla i'm not really buying into the river banks got this park out here on the left i'm assuming it's a park i think this is certainly a great area to utilize your new park life abilities if you have the park life dlc of course zoning some of that area as a park would be amazing we head off towards the center of the map we have of course this i don't know if this is a park area or just like a palace area or something uh we do have like an area like this in london which is all uh like uh, royal parks and such and i think I, that's how i see that area there royal parks even though we don't have a royal family in germany although there is a, royal, a german royal family in the united kingdom of course and of course the beach the beach chip aesthetically i find it very vanilla i really do find it very vanilla uh i like it though and it's for me it's a high three going on four i think we'll give it a four detailing i'd like to give this a four because the detailing really sells itself to me as being a ring road around the city but there are one or two minor detailing glitches and i can't give it more than a three so three stars for detail gameplay potential this one, actually, I like. I can see a lot of people wanting to play this, not just to do a Berlin build, but for an any city build. Certainly set up for that, and um, I, I approve highly on giving it four stars. So Berlin True, one-to-one -one by Ami Polizzi Funk, way better than Stockholm East. So much so, do you know what? I think I'll give it my seal of approval. I quite like it. Some things to fix, though, of course. So thanks for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing. Join me tomorrow for another map in the What's Map series. Join me tonight for Ostriv, uh, Ukrainian, Ukrainian um, village simulator. <laughs> 18th century village simulator. Yes, I'm looking forward to playing that. I haven't, I haven't recorded it. I'm, I miss it. I want to get back into it. And uh, yeah, so join me for that. Join me tomorrow. And um, why don't you just join me in marriage? You and me. <laughs> thanks for watching. See you very, very soon.